Well, good morning everybody. Welcome to Training Tuesday. Today, Jody and I are gonna demonstrate what we've done to lead correctly. Notice how Jody's overtaken me. The correct way to, to lead is with me at Jody's head, or should I say Jody at my shoulder. Now obviously she's gone a bit too far ahead, so I've got to bring her back. So with training, you've got to be constant, consistent, and instant. So we'll try that again. I'll bring her in as if I was just leading her normally. And if she goes beyond where I ask, then I'll stop her and back her up. Come on then, girl. And we'll... Good girl, you back up for me. Back up. Good girl, stand there. And this is a good idea, or this is a good chance to get your horse to stand. Uh, stand like a statue. So when you do stop, and they stop in the correct place, then you just stand there and rest for a little while. When you need to you need to uh, back your horse up whether it's to help load in a trailer out of a trailer into stables out of stables there's going to be a number of situations where you need to back your horse up i'm going to now back her up with a little bit of pressure because what we're looking for is obviously pressure from the lead rope and she needs to yield to that pressure and also my body language back up then gil Back up. Okay, there we go. You see, I use very little pressure there. Most of that was using my body language. Come to me. Good girl. And stand there. Right, again, I'm gonna put a little bit of pressure on her. I'm gonna start walking towards her initially to use my body language to back her up. Okay, a bit of pressure on the lead rope to back her up. Obviously, this is, this is in slow time at the moment. Uh, a horse should be free, willing and giving when it comes to backing up or any manoeuvre for that matter. And also, I can, I can back her up from here by walking backwards as well, by just putting a little bit of pressure on, on her lead rope. Good girl, good girl. The next thing with leading is obviously you want to get your horse to turn. I ask her to go over and then I walk round at the same time her, her head moves. And that way I am training her to go away from the pressure of the lead rope, trying to yield, yield to pressure, and also trying to yield to my body language. Because obviously, I don't want Jody to run me over, okay, whether it's left or right. So I want her to go away from my body language. Positioning. With Jody, I don't walk at the shoulder. She's got a huge neck, huge head, and huge shoulders. If she decided to cut in front of me, barge me, or whatever, she could take over control. She could move my feet rather than me moving her feet. So to keep Jody safe, keep me, me safe, and keep people around me safe, I walk at her head, and she walks at my shoulder. It is a partnership, so we've learned together. This is the best way of walking with Jody because she won't pull in front of me, she won't barge me or anything. Right, stopping with your horse, obviously, we're in Jody's case, I use a dually halter. So if she goes too far ahead or behind, then obviously tightness in the lines. I want Jody to stop with me when I stop by following my body language. I'll demonstrate how I do it at, at walk and then we'll see what it's like at, at trot. Walk on, Gil. And we'll... So that's a demonstration of how she, I didn't have to use any of the lead rope. Right, we're going to try it at, at trot now. 
hand shots. Ah, oh, whoa. That's better. Good girl. Thank you for watching our video. All these demonstrations that we've done during this video, I'm going to break down into a short series of, of videos. Jodie's distracted now. Look, look at that. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm going to break this uh, in, down into a series of videos on how I did each of these manoeuvres. So stay tuned and I'll see you next time. Thank you.